Ted Cruz patriotism and bravery. Old but gold. I love America. I stand for the anthem, respect the flag and honor the men and women who fought to defend our nation. I respect free speech and I'm exerting mine. Until Nike ends its contempt for those values, I will no longer purchase Nike. Brave of you to stand up to a pair of shoes. Maybe one day you'll stand up to the man who insulted your wife, your father and our country. It's a strange argument. He's expressing support for free speech by trying to enforce mandatory standing for the anthem. You are free to say anything as long as you say what I think it is okay. There was an old joke that during the nuclear negotiation Carter told Brezhnev that, in America, we are so free that anyone can burn the American flag even in front of the White House. Brezhnev responded, that, anyone is free to burn the American flag in the Red Square as well. These guys have the same definition of freedom and free speech. The law, in its majestic equality, forbids the rich as well as the poor to sleep under bridges, to beg in the streets, and to steal bread. Anatole France. Ted Cruz on Kaepernick, how dare he protest during this song, he is anti-America. Ted Cruz on General Lee, how dare we take down his statue, he was merely anti-America. All Republicans do is stand up to a straw man they built. It's so easy to tweet about boycotting a shoe brand or a coffee maker. It requires zero effort on their part. Ted Cruz probably doesn't own anything from Nike anyways. Ted Cruz seems like a New Balance kind of guy anyway. Nah, Crocs. Cruz definitely rocks the Crocs. I do not like this man, Ted Cruz. I do not like his far-right views. I do not like his stupid chin. I do not like his dumb smug grin. I do not like him with a beard. I do not like him freshly sheared. I do not like Ted Cruz at all. This man, Ted Cruz, can suck my balls. I do not like this man, Ted Cruz. I do not like him in the news. I do not like what he just said. I do not like his boxy head. I do not like him wearing glasses. I do not like him, kissing asses. I wish he would not get one vote. This man, Ted Cruz, can lick my scrot. I'm in awe of how a man in the public forum can be not only a coward, but also kiss the ass of a man who insulted multiple M. Embers of his family on record. I look at Ted Cruz as an example of the man you should never be. How the hell do Texans justify having him in office? It is one of the mysteries that psychologists need to look into, this is a new level of kiss-ass behavior among politicians. The saddest part is that the man still has so many supporters, that is an even bigger mystery. Not directly related but related, remember that Trump got beat bad by the NFL not just once but twice. A lot of this Trump pearl clutching about the flag is him just being petty and trying to knock the group that made him look silly. Not only is Cruz against free speech, but he's helping a president be vindictive against American citizens for personal beef. What a country. What a time to be alive. I respect free speech which is why I hate Kaepernick, a man whose only crime is using his First Amendment right, and anyone that supports him. Ted Cruz is the symbol of a supine Republican Party. He stands for nothing, including his wife and children. He actually does, he is a soldier in the army of domination of American public while they steal their last part of their savings, selling them an illusion that they can be rich by putting themselves in massive debt which ultimately works much better than any chain around their neck or feet. If you are in debt, and dependent on the system, you won't dare fighting it. And that is why you never see massive movement like South Korea, France, Spain and other countries that take down the presidents and parliaments and enforce them to bow to the power of the people. Stands for the anthem and then walks all over the constitution. I'm sure that the Nike Corp is crying all night about losing Eduardo Cruz $48. She's waiting for the right time to money bag dump him. Where's that picture of Cruz looking absolutely fucking miserable phone banking for Trump in 2016? Remember that, it was an image of a man who had lost his last shred of dignity flushed down the Trump drain. Ha 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 ha, yeah did he forget Trump called his wife ugly. And Trump's supporters thought that was all good too. They're something else. They are conservative principletum. That is, there is no level that they won't stoop to to win politically. Honor the men and women who defend our nation. Except I won't help them. I'll just honor them on Twitter, but they can go fuck themselves. There's goes the next million dollar idea. Nike Air Ted Cruz. Run faster, jump higher, lick boots better than ever. Ted you're a bigger coward than Trump. Almost. The only Republican with balls was McCain, maybe because he knew he had no future, all the others have turned into Trump suckers. Starts post with, I love America. Like the proclamation must be made so there's no confusion. I am better. Like it's a contest and whoever says that the most wins. If you have to over-protest you, love of America, you're gonna come off like a shady shallow lip service clown. This country was founded on freedom. 
The freedom to protest is the most American thing you can do. Oh no, the lucrative Ted Cruz, Nike shoe deal seems to be in limbo. What shall we do? P.S. to Nike, what he's saying is until you drop something like $5,000 into his campaign fund he will run you down in the media. Dot. Learn the rules Nike. Can somebody give me a TLDR about those insults please? Here you have their exchange before Trump was elected. It's hard to tell who has the most punchable face in Washington, but Ted Cruz has to be in the top 10. Ted Cruz is the epitome of the Republican Party. Absolutely spineless. It's actually not old, because Cruz still holds those beliefs. He's still anti-free speech and pro-kissing Trump's ass.